Hello everybody. Today we will be comparing the skulls of a modern human and a chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are our closest living relatives. We share about 96 to 98.8 percent of our DNA with chimpanzees, but what about morphology? How similar are the skulls of a chimpanzee versus a human? Let's look into it. When you put the skull of a chimpanzee and a human side by side, you'll see right away that they are pretty different. There's some basic similarities. Eyes are both facing forward. Uh, there's the same basic structure of the bones that are in the skull. There are also some more specific similarities, such as the fact that humans and chimpanzees have the same dental formula. But there are also some drastic differences, especially in the shapes and sizes of these different features in the skull. One of the most noticeable differences is the sizing of different features of the skull, more specifically the face and the brain case. Humans today have a very large brain case and pretty small and flat face. Chimpanzees, on the other hand, have a very small brain case and a very large face that juts out in front of their eyes. These two features are effectively swapped in the two species. Humans have a large brain case and a small face, Chimpanzees have a small brain case and a large face. Looking closer at the face, you'll see a few more different features. Humans have a very prominent projecting nasal bone, giving our noses a very outward look, whereas chimpanzees do not. They do not have a projecting nasal bone, which gives them a very distinctive flat nose. Farther down the face, chimpanzees have very large canine teeth, in both jaws, whereas humans have very reduced canine teeth. The canines in this cast in particular are larger because this individual was a male, but the canines are still significantly larger in female chimps as well. Moving up the face, you will also see very large brow ridges right above the eyes on the chimpanzee's skull. This structure is known as the supraorbital torus and is not present in modern day humans aside from very small, minute ridges. Turning the skulls upside down, the first major difference is in the palate. Humans have a small, arched, more parabolic shaped palate, more akin to a horseshoe, while chimpanzees have a larger, more rectangular palate that looks more sort of like a shovel. Moving down some more, the next major difference is in the position of the foramen magnum. The foramen magnum is the hole at the base of the skull where the spinal cord enters. In humans, this hole is positioned right at the bottom of the skull and is angled straight down, whereas in chimpanzees, it's positioned farther back and is angled backwards as well. It is not at the very back of the skull, like in a dog skull for example, but it is much farther back than what we see in humans. This accommodates their more uh, horizontal, what we call pronograde body posture, and therefore their quadrupedal on four legs locomotion. And the human position accommodates our more upright, what we call orthograde body posture, and therefore bipedal two-legged locomotion. Turning the skulls around, we'll also see several prominent crests on the chimpanzee skull. The two main crests that we will be talking about is the nuchal crest and the sagittal crest. The nuchal crest is this crest on the back end of the skull. It sort of makes up an arch running along over through the back end of the skull, and either side of this arch sort of connects into the mastoid process, which is the structure behind each ear hole on either side of the skull. Humans, for the most part, lack a prominent nuchal crest, though a small ridge is still present. The second crest, the sagittal crest, is also a muscle attachment point. This crest runs along the top center of the skull, what we call the sagittal plane, and is the part of the skull that anchors the temporalis muscle. This is a very important muscle for chewing. The sagittal crest is typically not present in chimpanzee skulls, however. 
This specimen belonged to a large adult male, which possessed a more robust skull, but typically chimps, both male and female, lack a sagittal crest. Pronounced sagittal crests are more diagnostic of gorillas, but humans lack them entirely. The last important feature on the top of the skull is farther up. If you look at the skull of a chimpanzee from above, you'll notice that the skull constricts behind the eyes. This is known as post-orbital constriction. The skull narrows in behind the eyes and then widens out into the brain case. A big reason for this is the large brow ridges in chimps, which are very wide. Humans have greatly reduced brow ridges and therefore have very little post-orbital constriction. Moving down to the mandible, or the lower jaw, there are two main differences. The first difference is the size. The chimpanzee mandible is much larger, more robust, and is more elongated than the human mandible due to their larger, more snouty faces that stick far out. This is in heavy contrast with the human mandible, which is very small and short. Lastly, in the human mandible, you'll see a pronounced bump in the front center. This is called the mental eminence and is also known as the chin. Chimpanzees do not have this structure, nor do any other apes. Humans are the only hominoids and one of the only animals at all that possess a chin. Despite how closely related these two species are, there are several drastic differences. However, when you look to the fossil record, we'll see a very clear transition from the more quote-unquote ape-like condition to the modern human condition. Thanks for watching.